Hey friends, today I am hanging out at the Magic Kingdom because it is a beautiful Sunday afternoon. I wanted to see if anything new is going on and plus I want to ride some rides and eat some snacks. So let's go do this. It is literally the perfect day. Look at those skies, listen to the music. This is great. I have been staying away from the parks on the weekends because of the overwhelming crowds. So I was a little hesitant coming out on this Sunday, but when I seen the weather, I was like, oh, it definitely seems like a Magic Kingdom kind of day. And so far, like the hub area seems pretty empty. Main Street, not too many people there. So hopefully it's just really, really slow and not all these people are actually in the ride lines because that's what we don't want. Like, look at all this open space. Tons of space. Nobody waiting to get a photo? I'll take a photo. You doing photos? Yeah. Whenever I see any photo pass photographers just sitting there without anyone to take photos of, I kind of get sad and then get my photo taken. Just because I want them to be happy and making memories and taking photos. One new thing that just popped up a couple days ago right here at the Sunshine Tree Terrace are the fried pork and vegetable pot stickers. I'm very excited to try these. Right here they are, and I think I actually might get an I Lava U Flow too because I've never had it before. But I'm excited, these uh, pot stickers are new, they look really delicious. And take a look at this this is the I Lava U Float. Can you hear the pop rocks? I don't know if you can get like a good, it's like doing a little snap, crackle, and pop because it has pop rocks on top. And then here are the pot stickers. I'm very excited to try both of these, it looks amazing, doesn't it? I feel like this is gonna melt first, so oh, it's already it's already a big mess. But we're gonna try this one first. Oh, that is so good! Wow, ooh, it's like a party in my mouth right now with the pop rocks. <laughs> it's definitely something you have to eat quick though, because the sun is taking its toll on this. And now I want to try the pot stickers. Look at them; they're very crunchy. These are so delicious, but I accidentally like dropped some of my Pop Rocks on there. So like, you know how I said they were crunchy? Now they're crunchy and they're popping in my mouth. But, oh wow, these are such a great snack here at Magic Kingdom. It's definitely a weird combination to eat pot stickers and a Pop Rock <laughs> I Lava You Dole Web. but it's delicious. <laughs> this has officially become my favorite float at the Magic Kingdom. I love it. I love the Pop Rocks. I love the Strawberry Fanta. And the only thing is, is it is messy. So you gotta eat it quick, find a nice cool spot, get plenty of napkins, and prepare to get sticky. Since I'm over in Adventureland, I'm gonna ride something I haven't rode in a while. Mainly because I just kind of always skip over it, but not today, we're gonna ride it. The Magic Carpets of Aladdin. I don't know why I skip over this ride. I mean, Dumbo is kind of like the same ride, but it gets far more attention. So we're gonna actually go for a uh, magical carpet ride. They actually give you assigned carpets, so we're gonna be carpet number nine. Look, they actually have it all lined up like this. I love looking at all the little details on this ride, like things I've never even noticed before. Look at the camel spit in the water right there. Look at how happy he looks, I love the eyes. And right in the middle there is a bunch of genie heads and then above it is Abu. I have never realized this before. All right, I got my seatbelt on and I'm ready to fly. Look at, there's the camel right here. Good, there's a good look at the camel. That is amazing. Oh, and a bottle. Shame. As a reminder, face I can show you the world. A whole new world. Look at how the carpets are tilting back and forth. I got no one doing that for me in the back, so I'm gonna have to do it manually. Oh. <laughs> so this makes it tilt back and forth, and this raises you up and lowers you down. This is so fun. Oh, I love it. <laughs> 
Let's drop down a little bit here. <laughs> oh, oh, there we go. A little bit, a little bit more. Going down. <laughs> a little bumpy. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> oh. oh, there we go. Now it's time to go down. To a complete stop, then walk to the nearest exit. Okay, that was a lot of fun. I really, really enjoyed it. I also enjoyed the music. I hope you guys don't mind me serenading you a little bit with my wonderful Aladdin voice. I'm only kidding. But it was such a great ride. Definitely one that you should do a little bit more. Now I think I'm going to head on over to Liberty Square. It is such a nice day out. I know I've said that a couple times, but I really can't get over just the beautiful blue skies and just the perfect amount of breeze. Not too much, just enough to keep you nice and cool. I know it's only February, but I feel like I haven't been in the ye old Christmas shop in a while. And we got a while before Christmas, but sometimes I just like walking through there. They don't just sell Christmas things. They have other things too. And it's just nice to look around. It's a beautiful store. The ye old Christmas shop. Oh look, you can see 2021 merchandise right here already. Oh, all the cool stuff. We have to get a countdown calendar, some train sets, some ornaments and stockings. Everyone's got to get ready to go for next year. They even have some annual pass holder exclusives like cell phone cases right here, some signs up there, and even a sweatshirt and a t-shirt. Look at that with the Christmas castle. Another thing is, is it just smells like Christmas in here. I have no idea why. I think it might be the wreaths. It just feels like very hurdy, like Christmas. I don't know, I don't know what it is. It must be the smell -alizers. They even have some new soul ornaments. Plays music. I wonder how it plays music. Oh wait, you can't, you have to pull out that tab, so we're not gonna do that. But that's really interesting, isn't it? Where's Soul Cat? That was a nice little detour through the shop and it smelled amazing in there. It blows my mind. I wonder if I can get that. I wonder if they make a candle. You know, they're making candles of all the Disney scents, so maybe it'd be the ye old Christmas shop candle. I'd probably buy it. I'm gonna continue on up towards the castle, but I wanna show you the moat here because the moat is empty. And look at this. I've never seen it like this. They got scaffolding down there. You can actually go right underneath the castle. They got the cranes everything I also think I like Fantasyland probably the most when it comes to background music as you're walking around either Tomorrowland or Fantasyland that's a hard pick because I like the futuristic soundtrack but I like this classical music too for some reason every time I walk by here I always miss it because it closes super early I think it closes at four o'clock so today I think I'm actually gonna get myself something to eat I'm gonna get the brat and tater bites. Look at that's a pretzel roll and it's got a bratwurst and some potato barrels or tater tots. I've never gotten this before. But another thing I noticed is you can actually get a Mickey ear hat. Right here's the little ear hat. And this is $17.99 and it comes with your meal. So I think I might get this. It looks pretty fancy, doesn't it? I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with this Mickey ear hat. Or bowl it's a bowl actually you know what I could do with it I can actually make it like a little travel water bowl for Gracie this is a great idea I just need to find somewhere to eat this this was $19.99 altogether and I think that's a, a decent price because the bratwurst and tater was almost $11 and then I got this little Mickey Mouse Club bowl so it fits very well I think this is a good price Honestly, I think one of the hardest things to do is find places to eat now because you know You can't sit down anywhere. So I think I'll sit over here with the ducks Now we don't feed the ducks, but we can actually use the ducks as company So we are dining with the ducks today. Hello. My name is Nate What is your name? Take a look at this bratwurst. Isn't this amazing? I got it with no sauerkraut and then we got the tater tots. And then this is what the bowl that I got. Ah, I, like I said, I think this would be a good like watering dish, like a travel dish for Gracie. Or even like food. I think she would like this a lot. 
They're not coming for my tots, are they? Keep it moving. Keep it moving. No, come back. I want friends. Come back, please. I'm going to dive right into this bratwurst. The bun is so big. Oh, yeah. This is good. This is going to... I know this is going to be good. These are so good and that's a good brat right there. You know, I've really been missing Casey's and this kind of like makes way for a little bit of improvement. Did you hear people scream from the Seven Doors Mine Train? I didn't think it was that intense, but this is a pretty good replacement for right now. But ultimately we want our Casey's back. I would definitely get this again. I mean, the bun, it seems like there's way too much pretzel bun. Actually, I don't even think that's a thing. There's never too much pretzel bun. But this is very good. I like it a lot. <laughs> that was a very good meal. Now I have to carry around my hat, though. I wish they wore ears. I would wear them. I mean, I can kind of wear it like ears. I have to set it on my head like this. I'm pretty sure it's going to fall off. It fell off. Not to be worn. It's not broken. These actually bend down even too. Look at that. It makes it very convenient and packable. I can actually fit it in my pocket. That is some fanciness right there. I was thinking maybe I would want to ride the teacups, but I forgot that the teacups are actually closed for refurbishment. But one thing I want to show you is like they're closed for refurbishment sign. I think it's the coolest one ever. Oh my, oh me, we've run out of tea. That's really cool, isn't it? And then this one over here, it says, we'll party again soon, but it's upside down. Like it's backwards upside down. That's really nice. That's really, that's a good touch right there. I turned the camera upside down so you can see it a little bit better. I was thinking since we can't do the teacups, maybe we'll go ride the Astro Orbiter. You know, it's been a while since I've been on one of those spaceships. Seems like the Astro Orbiter has a really long line. So I'm thinking maybe I should ride Buzz Lightyear instead. Like either ride Buzz Lightyear Space Ranger or Astro Orbiter. I think we're gonna have to ask someone. Excuse me, good sir. Should we ride Space Ranger Spin or Astro Orbiter? Just one. Space Ranger Spin or Astro Orbiter? You? Yeah. Yep. Buzz Lightyear Space Ranger Spin. Thank you. <laughs> well, I mean, what are you going to say? Buzz Lightyear says go ride Space Ranger Spin. You have to go ride Space Ranger Spin. I don't even know if that was a fair question. I should have never asked him. I feel like, you know, his opinion was a little one-sided. 30 minute wait it looks like. Seems the power is dangerously low. So I don't know if I'm gonna be able to be a galactic hero, but with Buzz Lightyear's blessing and his wishes for me to ride this ride, I better make him proud. Oh boy. Thank you. Oops. Oh boy. Moving walkway, moving walkway. Okay. Engage. Oh. We froze. What's going on over here? We're stuck. We're just gonna keep shooting this guy. Uh oh, I didn't do it. Seize them and their little friends too. Oh, we're not gonna make it. We're not gonna make it. We're not gonna make it. Ah! There it is. Bam. Galactic hero. Take that, Zerg. We are the champions, my friends. We'll keep on fighting to the end. We are the 
champions. We are the champions. That is definitely a high sanitized after ride experience. I know it's really easy to become a galactic hero. You just gotta know where to shoot. But I always struggle with it because I don't have the posable thumbs, you know? It's hard for me to actually just kind of shoot. I don't know why. I, it does, it, it's really hard for me. Like, I didn't get it to the last second. I wanted to come back out to the main hub area only because it's just so beautiful over here and I'm liking the music. But also I wanted to see the dragon and the ducks. Look at that, sitting right there. But now I think we're gonna start making our way down Main Street. You know that song? I'm walking right down the middle of Main Street, USA. So do you think people sing that as they're walking out of the park? Like, I feel like that song is only appropriate when they're walking into the park. There is a big line for the Emporium, so I do want to stop into some stores before we head out. I want to see if they have any new fedora hats because, you know, my original hat is now at the Character Warehouse and they don't sell them in the parks anymore. And I tried to go get them at the warehouse, but every time I go, they're sold out. So I want to see if they're actually going to replace that or if they're just going to keep on selling the Haunted Mansion one. I'm not too big on carrying a purse around, but if I did, I would definitely get this purse right here. Look at this, 101 Dalmatians. This is to help celebrate the anniversary. And Gracie would love this. Oh, they got so many of them. These are pretty expensive. These are the uh, Dooney and Burke ones. I bet you they're like $300. <laughs> I wish they made a 101 Dalmatians hat. I mean, that would be perfect. Right up my alley, I would say. Normally my go-to spot to actually get hats is at the hat shop, but there usually is a line because it's connected to the confectionery. So we're gonna see if we can actually just hop in here and see if they got any new hats. And that is a big negative. I can't go into the Chapeau, the uh, men's and women's hat shop, unless I wait in line to go in the confectionery, which is no big deal, but I asked them if they got any new hats in, any like cool hats in, and they told me no, so I'm not gonna wait in the line just to find out no anyway. And uh, I guess that's gonna do it for me then. <laughs> That's the end of the day. I had so much fun today. Today was like one of those adventures where we just walked around the park and just had a good time. And I made a lot of jokes and I laughed to myself. It's kind of crazy the things that you can get accomplished and the things that you can do by yourself. And I think bringing you guys along with me just uh, gives me more encouragement to just go out and have fun. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. Yeah. We'll see you next time. Bye.